today in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to get eyebrows this is a tutorial for complete beginners um, because I remember like a bit over a year ago when I knew nothing about makeup I was all over YouTube I was YouTubing tutorial eyebrow tutorials for complete beginners um, there were a few videos on there but I just thought I'd make my own because I remember myself looking back a while ago um, since then I've developed kind of my way of doing them and how I like to do them so I thought I would share it with you today so you can see um, but yeah this is the overall look so if you want to see how it's done just keep watching <laughs> just keep watching if you didn't hear that that's what I said okay so I'll be taking this is my eyebrow product that I have and this is a dip brow sorry if I just blinded you this is a dip brow pomade um, you can also use a brow pencil which is what I used to use but ever since I started using this it changed my life I just feel like I mean everybody has their preferences but I feel like um, my eyebrow game just got a whole lot better ever since I started using a pomade instead of a brow pencil but yeah this is what I use it's really old I've had it for a long time um, the name is rubbed off but if you're interested in what it is it's Bow Cosmetics I'm pretty sure and I just got it at Big W like forever ago you can use any brow pomade you want there's a lot out there there's a lot of drugstore cruelty free brands um, but you just can do your research on that okay the first step to doing your brows is to take a spoolie now this is what a spoolie looks like you want to take this and you want to brush your eyebrow hairs into place however you want them to sit so I like to brush mine up at the front and then I sort of brush them upwards and outwards at the end of my brow and then go down. Now this is my problematic brow, like I have one good eyebrow and well it, it's okay. One okay good eyebrow and then one how's it going eyebrow, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with it but yeah okay. So same thing I just want to brush the start of my eyebrow hairs upwards and then the rest I will go up and out like so and then you want to get a brush like this this is like a little angled brush um, doesn't say anything I'm not gonna lie I got this off eBay a long time ago still works still good so just like something like this just a little angle brush here you can see there's the like the actual pomade which is like the waxy one and then I have the powder so you want to go in first with the wax because that's going to get your actual shape and then well this is what I like to do get the shape and then you want to set it at the end to make it darker or just if you don't like that waxy sort of finish which I don't um, you can set it with the powder or you could just use the powder any way you want but this is how I do my brows so going in with the waxy pomade whatever you want to call it okay now I like to start at the bottom of my eyebrows so I like to start underneath but I don't start at the very beginning otherwise you'll just have a blocky eyebrow you want to have that transition from just like a soft brow at the start and then start to get your actual defined shape so this is what I do I don't start at the very beginning I start at the bottom but I start about half mm, a little bit more than halfway so about here and that's where I start and I just start to softly draw it following the shape of my eyebrow So I'm only doing underneath, like drawing a line underneath, but like on my eyebrow. Okay, 
okay and then I create the tail like so you can make the tail as long or as short as you want pretty sure mine are different each day but I don't really care also that's another thing your eyebrows aren't going to be exactly the same every day I know mine aren't some days I have bombay as fuck eyebrows and then other days I'm like um what happened but yeah it's all about practice so I'm just going over that line underneath okay so once I've done the line underneath I then like to do the line over the top and then it's like it's like drawing a shape and then coloring it in basically so once again I don't start at the very front of my eyebrow I start about a little bit over halfway and I connect that to the tail that I've already created so I'm starting about here I've just drawn a straight line across here but now I'm going to sort of create my arch and I'm following my shape it is hard if you don't have shape but you can sort of see how you want to create your arch. So I'm going to angle it sort of upwards and then down. So I've just connected them now. And I know it looks a little bit funny now. You're probably thinking but yeah don't you worry so as you can see um it's not colored in i'm going to color this in by by the way that my brow hairs sit so i'm going to go like this and just fill in that space that we've created if you want to sharpen the tail up you definitely can looking pretty fine to me okay so we have the end of our eyebrow done but what about the start you're probably thinking girl okay so this is what I like to do I don't dip back into my um, product unless I really think that I need to so with the remaining product that's where I like to create the rest of my brow so I'll start underneath and I'll just go over where I'll just go over where I didn't in the beginning. Like so. And because I like my eyebrows to come a little bit in further than what they naturally do, I'll just slightly go in here. Okay. And then now we go over the top. And connect it with that top line now we have this part done but it's not filled in yet so what I like to do is you can either take the brush this way and go up like that or you can take it like this I think for today I'm gonna take my brush like this and kind of fill in going upwards the way that my, the start of my brow hairs go now you can take your spoolie again and just to let that transition blend at the front you can just brush it in with your hairs and just brush over the rest of your brow so that it all blends in nicely so now I've done the whole wax product but to me the color is a little bit off so I like to set it down with the powder and I just go over the top of everything exactly the same way that I did the wax so I'll dip into that powder and I won't start at the front of my brow, you don't want them blocky. 
and you're just basically setting it. I'm sort of patting more than, like it looks like I'm stroking, but I'm sort of like patting the powder over it to set it. Okay, and then once again, with the remaining powder that's on my brush, I'm just going to go through the front a little bit because I just want to do that, but I don't want it to be blocky. So, depending on what kind of look you're going for, usually when I'm doing a full glam look, I really like to define the bottom of my eyebrow. I don't really define the top as much, but yeah, if I'm doing a natural look, what I'll do is take concealer and put it on my lid and sort of just blend the concealer upwards. But when I'm doing a, gl um, a full glam look, I like to really be precise and carve out the bottom of my brow. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So once again, I take a brush like this. This is an angled brush, but it's a little bit bigger. Um, and this one is for brow defining, I think. So this is the difference. This is the brow product one. And this is the definer for the concealer. So yeah, taking this brush, and you can take any concealer you like. Personally, for me, when I'm carving out my brow, I really like to use um, more of a cream than a liquid. Taking this um, cream concealer from Rimmel London, it doesn't really matter what you use. This is just what I have lying around. It does the job. It's just a cream concealer from Rimmel London, concealer corrector, blah, blah, blah. There's no shade, so I can't really tell you if you wanted to know to compare to me, so I'm sorry. But yeah. So what I like to do is just get a lot of that product on there. So this is what I do, You're probably thinking I'm attacking it, which I sort of am. So I like to get, you know, a good amount of product in there, but I still want the edge to be defined so I can get that right shape. Okay, so what you want to do is just basically carve right under your brow. Try not to go over the brow that you've done, just carve it out nicely and neatly. So I like to create the line first. And I do start at the front. Okay, so we have that line. And then from there, I like to drag the product down like so. And then sometimes I'll just add a little bit more on my lid like that. Then you can either use um, a little conceal brush or you can use a sponge. So taking my Beauty Blender sponge, this is the Chi Chi one. It's dirty um, and I didn't go up and wet it so I just sprayed it with a bit of setting spray because I'm lazy. But yeah, it'll do its job. So what I like to do is start from the bottom of my lid and just blend upwards. The 
So once that's all blended out, then you'll set it straight away. So I like to kind of keep my eye closed like this. I know I look like a weirdo, but I just don't want it to crease in the meantime. Um, then I'll grab my translucent powder. I mean, actually, it's not a translucent powder. It's just a loose powder. I lied. Um, this is just Maybelline New York loose powder. Once again, bought it forever ago. So I just take a fluffy brush. This is actually a blush brush, but you know, it does the job. And so I dip into that, tap off the excess, get about that much, and then just want to pat that over your whole eyelid. Get a little bit more. Just pat that over your whole eyelid. And there you go. Bob's your uncle. And then once that's done, it's all ready for eyeshadow as well. Bob's your uncle, you've got an eyebrow, and it is defined. I know it looks a little bit weird now, but it's only because I don't have the rest of my makeup on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the, uh, the eyebrow. So you can see them together. You can see them together. I might fast forward through this. I don't know if y'all want to see it again. I don't know. are some carved out eyebrows she ready for eyeshadow what would you call it? 